What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and finally we can do proper spin tires mods again, uh, because we are on my main PC again, uh, basically what happened was the motherboard in the main PC died, and, uh, we figured that out, and then replaced it, and now everything is pretty much back to normal, and we're good to go, and we can play on dirt time again, we can play with, uh, new mods again, and there's no better way to kick that off than with CCS's new Kodiak. This thing is a monster. Now, before we do anything else, like hauling or anything like that, because I did bring a couple of other vehicles along, um, basically as guinea pigs for, um, for being hauled around the map on the back of the truck, I'm gonna take this thing throughout the map on Evans Creek just a little bit and show you guys that this is not only the most capable tow rig I've ever driven, well, one of the most capable tow rigs I've ever driven, but it's just a capable off-roader anyway. It's, it's, it's so good at, like, doing everything that it's just, it's just one of those ultimate multi-purpose vehicles. It really, really is. So, let's see, because I've never, I've never taken it to this particular map before, though. Um, I've driven it around on a couple other maps, and it did really, really well, um, but I'm gonna see how we do here, and, uh, hopefully it does really well. Now, there are only two tire options, okay? The, they're pretty much the same tire, it's just this one is bigger, and I was like, well, we're already in a Chevy Kodiak, so we may as well have the biggest tire we can fit under it, so that's what I went for. I mean, you don't really even want to see the smaller tire option. I mean, it's like, it's really almost the same exact thing as this tire, just smaller, so you don't really want to see that one. Uh, so let's go, let's hit this hill in high. Oh crap, oh crap, okay, okay. So it makes it to the top, it just stalls out in high, so you need to finish it off in like low two or something. That's no big deal, that's fine. Um, it's not like you're having to like, you know, struggle with it or fight the truck or anything like that. It goes right up it, it's got the grip. See if it, oh, I was, I was expecting it to go over that stump, it just crushes it. That is the other thing that CCS said about this truck, is that it is one of the heaviest trucks that he has ever made. Like, no, no question about it, nothing, you know... Absolutely 100% one of the heaviest, if not the heaviest, truck that he has ever made uh, over his spin tires modding career, I guess you could call it. Now, the trailer option is ridiculous. It is a triple axle, 40-odd foot gooseneck that will haul pretty much whatever you put on it. Now, I'm going to show you guys, let's see, right there. We're going to go ahead and hook it up, and, like, dude, it's so huge... It's so freaking huge that, like, I mean, what, what, there's, there's so many, so many options of what you could, you know, what you could actually use that for. So basically what he did was took the standard, you know, standard gooseneck trailer and stretched it way out, way, 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 way out, added another axle, and basically you get what we have here. Now, we're going to go ahead and load a couple vehicles up, and the only thing is... Oh, I didn't even realize this thing had four-wheel steering. That's pretty badass. So, the only thing with a big trailer like this is the fact that sometimes in spin tires, when you try to load multiple vehicles, they start to move around. Like, they're like... They start to get iffy about staying on the trailer itself, which admittedly is a little weird, and I'm not sure why they do that, uh, but it's just kind of one of those... I guess, iffy little things of spin tires, uh, that just kind of happens sometimes. Now, we're gonna load up also this Mantis Crawler. Love it in the Yukon, uh, gear and axle livery, I guess you could say. Design, livery, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna go ahead and drive it up real quick. Right on up the trailer. And I mean, if we look... If we really, really squeezed, I bet you we would have room for another Jeep. That's why I brought two, but... Alright, so that is all the way backed up against the other, uh, backed up against the front of the gooseneck. That's slammed into the other Jeep. Oh yeah, we have room for a third vehicle. We actually legitimately have room for a third vehicle. That is insane. That is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, I have never tried to do this in spin tires. I've never tried to fit three vehicles on the same trailer before. I hope it works. I, and actually, I was worried about them staying on the trailer, but I don't think that's going to be an issue because this trailer has ramps that you can retract, so... Okay, they are backed up like tire to tire to tire, but at the end of the day, they are all on the trailer. 
They are all on the trailer, and this is gonna be badass. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way with the ramps. And the ramps are all the way up. Alright, so. So. Now, let's put this thing... I'm gonna say let's start it off in, like, low two. And see how we do pulling. Dude, okay. It pulls so well right off the bat that you don't even have to, like... You don't even have to... You don't even have to think about doing anything else. You just put it in low three. Just chugs right along. No big deal. Oh, God. My frames just died. The game... There's something going on that the game doesn't like. And I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's the fact that we have all those vehicles shoved up, like, right up against each other. Because there are some instances when the game does not like that. But, jeez. Okay. And really, no matter what... No matter what you do about that, there are some times in spin tires where you are going to... There! See? The frames are fine again. So you're going to run into some weird uh, stuff with frames when you try to load up this many vehicles onto a trailer like that. Uh, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you're still hauling three Jeeps on, well, not really three Jeeps, two Jeeps and a buggy uh, on a triple axle gooseneck. It is absolutely freaking nuts. Absolutely insane. And you know what I'm going to do? I want to see if that's actually the issue. Like, I want to see if frames are actually the issue. So, let's get... I don't know, let's get this one off the trailer. We're not going to really do anything crazy to get it off. We're not going to remove the ramps or anything. Or, we're not going to put the ramps down. Well, we may have to put the ramps down. Oh, dear. Oh, jeez. Okay. I was about to say, is your axle glitched? There's something... There's, again... There's always, like, weird stuff that goes on with big trailers. Uh, spin tires and big trailers sometimes doesn't get along the way you would like it to. Um, it's a little funky. It can't, or at least it can be a little funky. It just depends on, it just depends on how you load it up, and it depends on also, um, you, sometimes the game is like, it, it just is not optimized to, to cover that many vehicles in that small of a space, and the, and the way with these trailers sometimes, the way the trailers are rendered, and the way the game treats them, it's like, uh, that's, like, way too much. Like, way too much for, for, for everybody involved. So, let's go ahead and disconnect the trailer. Now, there is one more test that I would like to do with this truck before we finish. And that is, I want to take it down a trail. Because we haven't taken it, we haven't taken it down any, like, real proper trails. We've done some towing, we've done a little bit of light, like, you know, hill climbing and stuff like that, but... Proper trailing is not usually the uh, the strong suit of a massive, massive GMC Kodiak like this one. It's really not. Oh, geez. Come on. Come on. Will you please? It's finding grip. I mean, it may not be finding it easily, but it's finding it. And it's finding it pretty well. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's going. And the thing is, too, these tires are so huge that you can make use of the sidewall. You can make use of, like, of, of you know, the, the actual tread pattern of the tire because it's so wide. You can make use of any part of this tire that you want. And it, it just, oh, my God, it, it does incredibly um, as far as, you know, even just, just light off-roading, towing, trails, this thing will absolutely do everything. It will absolutely freaking do everything. And I am, I am blown away that he was able to make a truck this big do everything that it, that, that it can actually do. So, I'll look into also why we're having a little bit of frame issues. I think there's a couple things that I need to reconfigure with just getting my PC back. Um, because I had a few settings that... I feel like have been probably reset now, which I should probably have gone back in and retuned that, but it's alright, I'll go back and fix that, and so in the next video, um, the frame issues will hopefully not be there, and, um, and hopefully we'll be using this Kodiak again very, very soon, but this thing is an absolute monster, this thing goes nuts. And I have a bunch of video ideas that I would love to try with this truck. But if you guys enjoyed this video and this mod spotlight, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what y'all thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.